what's being done in the state as far as um, the homeless youth, the young people, the ones that are um, not accompanied as part of a homeless family. If, if you can enlighten me as to what's being done in the state um, and what needs to be done, possibly um, some statistics. Well, uh, just in terms of homeless youth, uh, this has certainly, this legislative session, this has come up uh, during this legislative session, you know, something in the department that uh, we're well aware of. And for the, we will actually be conducting in our pit count, we will be conducting a, a count actually of homeless youth. So we'll have something a little more tangible uh, rather than for me to cite numbers here today that I don't think are necessarily accurate. Uh, we have met uh, with uh, DCF to talk about uh, becoming, uh, playing more of a role regarding homeless youth. So uh, what our interest is and, and my personal interest in, is in the department, you know, there's that, that continuum of where the homeless youth are and the kinds of services that we need and the kind of support dollars we need for homeless youth. One other question. There's been a lot of um, data about the number of young people that are leaving Connecticut. Um, can you tell me whether or not the Department of Housing is doing anything to encourage that age group to stay in Connecticut and help Connecticut um, grow again? Well, just pretty much what we do day to day is to uh, build affordable housing to hit all income groups. We are certainly targeting uh, young professionals, but as I look at this and as I explain what we're doing in the department, because for so many years there has been such neglect of providing affordable housing, whether it's been for our seniors, our young professionals, our low, low income to moderate income families, uh, we find ourselves playing catch up. So part of what we are doing is yes we're building affordable housing and uh, to to part of our target market is certainly the younger folks the young professionals uh, having an ability to to live where they work or in some <coughs> cases bringing them back to their home community so they could work uh, locally can you tell me what type of outreach the Department of Housing has done to the homeless youth? Uh, it, it seems a little odd to me that the conversation with DCF was limited to funding um, rather than what do these young um, adults, um, teenagers need. So what type of outreach um, has the Department of Housing done to um, focus on that particular uh, very vulnerable group of homeless people? We haven't done anything in particular in terms of the youth. We have done outreach regarding all, all age groups for homeless individuals. So we haven't delineated uh, in, in our department uh, necessarily something special. It is the outreach that we do. We work with uh, the Connecticut Coalition to End Homelessness and other providers uh, who do reach out to homeless individuals. Well, I hope in the future as well as, you know, having a focus on seniors and having a focus on veterans and having a focus on disabled that there also will be a focus on children because they are really our most important resource and um, that's an opportunity where we can intercede and maybe change their path. So I encourage you to uh, work in that direction.